funds on summer vacation are finding their plans cut short following the Trump administration's new travel restrictions to Cuba. Those restrictions are in retaliation for Havana's support of Venezuela's dictator. Sean Chinnis joins us live tonight out at the airport. So, Sean, are flights being affected to Cuba? Well, Karen, for now, we know flights are still heading to Havana, but the Trump, the Trump administration does want to ban future cultural exchange programs. So tonight, United and Southwest are currently reviewing their plans. Now, all of this happening as people from right here in Colorado who are making their way to Cuba on cruise ships. We actually got to talk to one person who was on a ship as they had to change course because of this change. Former Colorado resident Gary Croshaw was on his way from Key West to Havana when the captain said there would be a change in plans. We heard the news about the new travel restrictions to Havana, but we thought it wasn't going to affect us. They started their journey on Monday from Port Canaveral, then made it to Key West on Tuesday and thought they would make it to Cuba. But then the ship had to change course to the Bahamas because of the new travel restrictions. We're very disappointed that we didn't go. Havana. Croshaw and his wife booked this trip just two weeks ago after seeing a promotion for the cruise. Many of his fellow passengers looked forward to visiting the country. There were a lot of people on board ship that were quite disappointed. They even got as far as paying for a visa with the Cuban government, a $75 fee they may not get back. The whole purpose of the trip, the reason we took the trip, was to go to Havana. And before they could get there, they had already planned an activity on the island, including Cuban cigars and rum. They made it to the Bahamas and will get their tickets refunded for that excursion in Cuba. They've also kept their sense of humor along the way. We were really looking forward to that. And so this trip, close, but no cigar. Now, Gary was able to tell us tonight that the cruise ship is offering them 50% off of their tickets because of the change that they had to make. And again, for now, we are told that commercial flights to Havana should continue, but we'll have to see if that policy changes. Live tonight at DIA, Sean Chitness covering Colorado first. Yeah, Bahamas not a bad second choice. Thanks, Sean.